Last week, I made a video about these. Axis trackers. They're IMU-based trackers that are internally very similar to what you'd find in official slimes. I've got good news, and I've got bad news. Bad news first, I made a whoopsie. No matter what IMU you use, whether it's Hardy Taurus, Slime, or these Axis trackers, you need to be conscious of your magnetic environment. This is wrong. Kinda. This is gonna get a little bit confusing, but some IMUs care about magnetic fields, while others don't. Official slimes use the same IMU that these axis trackers do. They use a gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer to track themselves, all packed into a chip smaller than your fingernail. But the official slime trackers have their magnetometer disabled in their default firmware for one simple reason. Ideal magnetic environments are hard to come by. With a magnetometer taken into account for tracking, large magnetic spikes in your play space can throw them off. Sure, there are things that you can do like move a guitar, moving some weights, which you should be doing anyway, but if you're unlucky enough for your play space to be built above a big steel beam, good luck moving that. So, Slime's official trackers don't use the magnetometer for tracking in order to account for everyone's environment. Now for the good news. These trackers are really good from a hardware level and offer things that nobody else has right now. They are water resistant, built to be easily repaired by owners as the battery ages, with a small haptic feedback motor to boot. And that's great and all, but there were two things about these that really bothered me. Refract made Axis trackers first and foremost for motion capture. Now, they are trying to pivot into the gaming space by offering a more affordable 4-node kit, but for full body tracking in something like VRChat, they were borderline unusable. To me, the whole thing was a missed opportunity. The hardware is there and it's genuinely good, so why not use it to its fullest potential? Remember when I said, and we can just have a really smart furry do it for us. That gave me an idea. In order to see these trackers full potential, I wanted to see haptics being used in VR chat via OSC and slime VR support. So I put out two $100 bounties to the community to make these features possible and refract pitched in to double them. First, I am incredibly happy to say that both bounties were completed only two days after the video went live, and both completed by furries just like the prophecy foretold. Haptics via OSC were done by Tavo, so even if you already have a full body setup, you can use these solely as addressable haptic feedback nodes. As far as I know, there isn't anything out there like this yet. You can put a contact point anywhere you'd like on your avatar and it'll activate whatever haptic node you tell it to. It's currently really early but entirely usable, and Tavo wants me to make it clear that he doesn't plan on developing this further and that he absolutely positively is not your tech support to set it up. But this is a feature that Refract has told me that they will be adding officially. Besides the rumble in my index controllers and the pie shock, <laughs> this is my first experience with haptics in VR, and it had me smiling ear to ear. Next, something to fix the tracking. You can use these trackers with Refract software to emulate SteamVR trackers, but currently their algorithm is pretty rough. You couldn't do normal VR chat things like lay down in front of a mirror. And to be honest, at that point, why even have full body? That's where slime comes in. If you're into VR, slime is probably a word that you've heard before. Their open source community has truly developed something special. The magic behind slime is what they call forward kinematics. It's a whole can of worms, so I'm gonna try and explain it as simply as possible. It's probably easiest to start with something you've already experienced, inverse kinematics. You might know with base station trackers like Vives, you can get good tracking with only three of them, one on your hip and one on each foot. VRChat's inverse kinematic system is what fills the gaps. It's why you don't need elbow trackers and why you don't need knee trackers. Slime's forward kinematics are the same concept but cranked up to 11. Instead of knowing where some body parts are and filling in the gaps, it is using the data from all of those sensors in the trackers IMUs, as well as your headset and controllers to completely reconstruct what your body is doing. It's a really tough thing to do, and Slime is inarguably the best at it. Thanks to Butterscotch, a longtime slime contributor responsible for an entire plethora of features, including their autobone system, Axis trackers can be used with slime's magical forward kinematics. The tracking quality of the Axis trackers is massively improved thanks to slime's algorithm. Now that these are something that I can legitimately recommend, let's talk about getting the most out of their 4-node kit. If you already have Vives or Tundras, you can skip these as trackers entirely and use them solely as haptic nodes. A good use case for this would be slapping some on your upper arms and your thighs. You can feel when a buddy pats you on the shoulder, or whatever your degenerate mind comes up with. Yes, you can put it there. Or if you did want to use these as full body trackers, they do a pretty good job thanks to Slime's support. Here, I am wearing the four nodes on my thighs and shins, but I would highly recommend getting a nice phone belt mount and using a WoTrack on your phone as a hip, 
or better yet, if you already have a set of slimes, you can use the access nodes with them. That's the beauty of open source. If you have vibes or tundras, you could use the 4-node kit with slime VR to track your elbows and provide haptics, or use them strictly as haptic nodes on your arms and legs. You can really do anything you want. These access trackers are a legitimately good product. They are built well, the charging dock slash storage case cuts down on clutter in your setup, and thanks to the community we have haptic support and good tracking through Slime, with official support for both of these coming from Refract sometime down the road. Right now they have an early bird pricing of $288 for the 4-node kit until the end of March. If you're watching after the price increases, you can use my code SMALLPP to get them for $62 off until the 15th of April this year. And thank you to Hoplophobia and Okeri for joining the Patreon, as well as the rest of my Patreon supporters for making all of this possible. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to offer those bounties to the community to make this a better deal for everyone. Thank you.